What's up guys, it's Dwayne back again for another video, back in for a reaction and today is a great, wonderful, amazing, beautiful, delicious day because it's a Germany day. Ready for your first day of school in Germany? For me, this is a Schultüte, a giant homemade or shop-bought cone filled with cool stationery, sweets and other goodies that young kids get on their first day of school in Germany. Um, okay, I, first of all, I thought this video was going to be maybe a little bit boring because I thought, you know, there can't be much difference between German schools and schools in England. I have no clue what that strawberry cone is, guys. I have no clue what that strawberry cone is. Sounds really cute, though, if it's full of stationery and all that. Type. Is that given to you by the school or is that given to you by your parents? I need to know more. The German school day traditionally runs from around 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. But things are changing. Wait, what? Let me hear that again. That can't be true. The German school day traditionally runs from around 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. 8 a.m. to 1 p.m.? 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. That is such a short day. My school day, I'm pretty sure, ran from 8 till 3. Damn, man. I wish I went to school in Germany. <laughs> but things are changing, and many schools are now offering full days, which might include time for homework okay. or extracurricular activities. This also means yeah. more schools are offering warm lunchtime meals in a school canteen. The reputation for school food isn't great, which might be why some pupils opt for a packed lunch or eat at home. A big okay. difference from my school days in the UK is no school uniform. And there are restrictions. She is from the UK. She is from the UK. Um, yeah, we had school uniform in, in the UK. ...on homework at the weekend. Was magst du an der Schule? Ich mag, dass sie so groß ist. Dass Mädchen und Jungs gemischt sind. Dass ich meine Freunde immer sehe. Mein Lieblingsfach ist Bio, weil ich Tiere sehr mag. Ich mag gerne den Schulhof. Wenn man dann halt nicht so gut in der Schule ist, dass man dann halt umsonst Nachhilfe bekommt. Dass die wow. Lehrer auch sehr, sehr nett sind. The marking system goes from one to six, with one being the best. Although in the last few years of some secondary okay. schools, 15 is the best. Essentially a one plus. Which means you could technically end up with a very German 0.67 grade average. If you get a 5 in two or more subjects, you might have to repeat the year. Wie ist es ständig Noten okay. zu bekommen? Das hängt immer von der Note ab. Ich freue mich auch, wenn ich Noten bekomme. Gut, weil man dann ja sehen kann, wie gut oder schlecht man ist oder ob man sich noch besser anstrengen sollte. Andererseits finde ich es auch nicht so gut, wenn es schlechte Noten gibt, dass dann die Kinder direkt traurig sind. Eigentlich ganz gut, weil es so ein Feedback ist. Manchmal ein bisschen blöd, weil man sich halt jedes Mal anstrengen muss. Ich fände es schön, wenn man sozusagen weiß, an welchen Tagen man sich besonders anstrengen müsste. The most okay. common foreign languages to learn are English, French and Latin. Yep, Latin. Latin. Do people still learn Latin? Like, what is the benefit of learning Latin? Really? <laughs> I don't know. Um, that's interesting. English, I understand. French, I definitely understand. Latin? One thing that really bugs me is that in German schools, an hour is not necessarily an hour. Classes is... An hour is not an hour. Explain. Split up into Stunden, literally hours. Stunden. Sometimes you might have a Doppelstunde, literally double hour. But one classic school hour is only 45 minutes long. Okay. Interestingly, competitive sport between schools isn't a big thing. Most people play sports in organisations outside of school. Ah. Okay. That's interesting. No, we definitely still have school teams. Um, and yeah, it's a thing. Not as big as America, like in America, Jesus, they love... <laughs> they love college basketball and high school basketball. It's a big, 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 big thing. It's not like that. It's not that competitive in the UK. But yeah, we definitely still do play schools. Okay, the next bit will require all your brain power. The German school system is complicated. Education okay. is the responsibility of the state governments, so there are many differences across the country. Municipalities and individual schools also take some decisions. This allows for more freedom, but it also means that a lot of work gets done many times over. So this is roughly what the system looks like. Primary or elementary school is called Grundschule, and in most states okay. that runs from grades 1 to 4. At the secondary level, the traditional model is a three-tier system. 
At a Hauptschule, pupils aim to get their Hauptschulabschluss in grade 9 or 10, and then go on to a vocational college and or an apprenticeship. The middle stream is Realschule, where pupils aim to get their Realschulabschluss in grade 10. They then might do an apprenticeship and vocational training, but for more technical trades, or they might go on to the next type of school. That's a gymnasium, the more academic route, where pupils take their Abitur exams after the 12th or 13th grade. And Wait, hold on, this is so confusing. <laughs> Guys, what? So at different grades, you can take different routes into different vocations whether they be academic or non-academic or more vocational. Like, it just sounds very complicated. So people are not... There are people leaving the school system to go to different schools or different parts of schools or different... at different times. Confusing. So confusing, guys. Um, I know this has probably been meticulously thought out because... As Germans, as I'm, I'm beginning to understand, you guys are very efficient and you really think about things in the finer details. But this seems very confusing. And often go on to university. That's the most popular type of school. Gesamtschulen are comprehensive schools combining the traditional streams and qualifications. They were introduced in the 1960s as an alternative to the three-tier model, but they weren't universally welcomed. Some states rejected the concept altogether. There has long been criticism of Förderschulen, where pupils with special needs are separated from mainstream schooling, and the majority of them don't end up graduating. But some wow. states have taken huge steps towards inclusion in recent years. You might... And she's still going. How many more of the schools and branches of schools do you have? I also hear other names like Oberschule, Mittelschule, Gemeinschaftsschule or Stadtteilschule. These are different names for or combinations of the other types of schools and they might mean different things in different states. Whoa, my head is hurting, <laughs> guys. It needs to be simplified. It looks like it needs simplified. Do you know what's interesting though? What was popping into my mind while I was watching that? I watched a video, a YouTube video the other day um, it was like a conspiracy slash theory type of video, but they're not conspiracy because it actually was factual in a lot of ways, but it was talking about um, class consciousness and, you know, how you have a class consciousness and it, it, this is very interesting, but it, it, part of the video was talking about the history of society and the control aspect of the school system. The school system was put in place by the government to teach people how to become good citizens, basically. To teach people to be workers. Not thinkers, but workers. And that's controversial, but yeah. Anyway, this is what this video was saying. Not me, this video. And um, it spoke about, is it uh, Prussel in Germany? When Germany had like Prussel, you know, they were the Prussel Empire, whatever. And they were the people, they were the government, the society that actually implemented the school system as we have today. The kind of, um, when they took over, I think it was Poland, Polish people, and made Polish people less Polish by teaching them the Prussian, Prussian way. And they created a system where they basically indoctrinated the people to be subservient to the, the Prussian Empire. It was really interesting. Honestly, it was really interesting. And in this video, it's basically saying the educational system that we have today stems from that. It's kind of a way to control the people. I know it's all conspiracy, blah, 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 blah. But in a way, I mean, our system is created for us to be workers and to work within a system and make money for big corp corporations and people on the top. It's true. But anyways, I just thought about that because obviously Prussia was, you know, part of Germany. Germany was part of Prussia, like, so maybe that's why your school system is so complicated and convoluted. No offence. Just a hypothesis. And this is the simplistic version. Primary school teachers will provide a recommendation for which kind of secondary school each child should go to. In a few states, this recommendation is binding, but in most states, parents have the final say. There is also some flexibility to move between the streams at certain points, but still, some people argue the system is elitist and separates kids too early on. 
Fewer than 10% mm. of pupils in Germany attend private schools, but the number is growing, with the highest percentage in eastern states. Private schools might be run by religious denominations or follow particular educational principles like at Waldorf or Jeneplan schools. That's actually a really common, like religious schools, like schools that like um, private schools that are a part of a particular religion and teach a particular ethos and you have to be in that religion to be in that school. Like I went to a primary school, which is from the ages of I want to say I'm probably just doing this completely wrong. Four to ten, something like that. Four years of age to ten years old, something around that that period of time. And in a primary school, I went to a, a a Church of England primary school. And to get into this Church of England school, technically you need to be christened. You need to be a Christian, which I was. Um, and we have a lot of Catholic schools as well where you. 100% need to be Catholic to, in order to go to those schools. So we have a similar thing in the UK. And private schools, I mean, <laughs> we, we're Britain, darling. We have a lot of private schools. <laughs> There's a lot of private schools in, in England. Homeschooling is illegal in Germany because children are seen to have a right to both a good education and socialisation. Homeschooling is illegal in Germany. Not to go back into conspiracy, but if it it's illegal, can we unpack that? Do you know what I mean? Can we unpack that? Like, homeschooling is illegal, meaning you as a parent, you do not have the right to teach your child without the child going into the school system. The government has said, your child needs to be taught by us. We need to teach your child about the world. Not a parent, not an adult who's actually been in the world. But it has to be a system. It has to be um, a school curriculum that has been vetted by the government. Just, 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 just putting out the conspiracy theories out there. Do you know what I mean? I just think, um, but, but you know, that aside, do I think it's right that you should, um, the government should say you can't school your own child? I think it should be up to the discretion of a parent. I don't think it's it's for a government to tell a parent whether your child should be in a school system or not. Um. I mean, there are certain caveats. There's certain, you know, there's certain, um, there's at certain times the government needs to get involved. You know, if a parent's not fit to look after a child or a parent's not fit to homeschool a child. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I just think it's a bit weird that the government can tell a parent that they can't homeschool their child. I don't know how you guys feel. Let me know in the comment section. The PISA report evaluates education systems around the world. The most recent report shows Germany performing above average in reading, maths and science, but seriously underperforming well when it comes to equal opportunities for children from different social backgrounds. And mm, that's not good, is it? Underperforming when it comes to children from different backgrounds, socioeconomic backgrounds, and maybe race as well, religion. And another area where Germany performed embarrassingly badly, digitalization. In the comparison really? of digital training for teachers, Germany came 76th out of 78 countries. The country- That's very surprising, guys. That's very surprising because I would have thought with Germany being so ahead of the game when it comes to mechanical engineering, automobiles and, you know, like technology in general, like, I don't know. I, would, I, would, I just thought you guys would be... Yeah, I don't know. I, I never thought that you guys would be behind in tech. Countries' digital woes were clearly exposed once COVID-19 came along. Not ah, so the pandemic exposed the fact that you guys were ill-prepared to, to maybe teach kids on digital devices and... and um, let me know if you're a teacher in the comment section how you found that time. 
Um, the UK adapted really, really, really well. It was all, it, I think a lot of the digitization of um, curriculum was already in place. So when it happened, the UK just kind of, you know, and I don't pat the back of the UK much, but we did really well in that, in that case. And so much so that actually a lot of jobs now are remote because a lot of organizations have just figured out, oh wait, we, do, we don't actually need to meet in person all the time. We actually don't need to have office space constantly. We don't need to be there. Maybe we could rent out a unit every so often and have meetings in that, in that sense, in person once a week. You know, it saves um, corporations and companies a lot of money not to have to purchase property. So yeah, let me know how you guys did during the pandemic. It sounds like schools definitely struggled. Not enough students had access to digital devices. Online learning platforms were inadequate yep. or non-existent. Some schools didn't even have Wi-Fi. Wow. Money has been promised to the tune of 5 billion euros by 2024, which will go towards dedicated IT administrators and an improved stock of computers and tablets. Some schools are already feeling the effects. Even in the analog realm, how well equipped and maintained schools are varies a great deal. Some have modern classrooms, libraries and sports facilities, while others have gross toilets, shabby classrooms and missing equipment. School wow. facilities are paid for by the local municipality, and some of them are simply broke. Federal or regional support often doesn't make it to the schools because of another one of Germany's perennial problems, cumbersome bureaucracy. Was ist nicht so gut an der Schule? Die Mensas wegen dem Essen, das ist nicht gut. Und äh, die oh. Schulklos, weil die stinken sehr. Dass es so wenige Spielgeräte gibt. Ich hätte gerne im Sportunterricht ein paar neuere Geräte. Manchmal werden, finde ich, Mädchen bevorzugt. Dass es wenig wow. Bäume auf dem Schulhof gibt. Wir haben sehr schlechtes WLAN hier. Wenn Kinder in Quarantäne sind zum Beispiel. Why are your schools so underfunded? I mean, she, she said why your schools are so underfunded, but that's really quite bad. Your schools should not be underfunded. Like, schools should be priority. It's the first thing that should be funded really well. Um, that's concerning. Then stürzt es immer ab und dann können die nicht am Unterricht teilnehmen. Ich würde mal den Schulhof putzen und die Toiletten mal erneuern. We started the episode on our first day of school, so let's end on our last. Particularly at gymnasium schools, graduation celebrations after the Abitur exams have become a rite of passage. The Abi-Streich is when pupils take over the school on their last day, planning pranks like covering the school in toilet roll. <laughs> There's an Abi Ball, a bit like a prom, and an Abi Motto, a motto or pun for the year. And to round it all mm. off, there's the Abi Fart, where school leavers go on a trip together. The more cheap and touristy, the better. I love that, Abbey Fard. I wish we had that. I mean, private schools have that, not, not public schools, like no one went on holiday. <laughs> but the, the school prom, um, we have that. Um, I wasn't invited to my school prom. I'm not salty at all. I'm not annoyed at all. <laughs> I'm still pissed. No, I'm joking. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I wasn't invited to my school prom because I and a few mates made some bad decisions early in the school year, some truancy was involved, bit of a rebel, and they said that we couldn't go to the school ball. So what we, what did we do when it was the school ball? We all went to the cinema and we had a really good time. So it wasn't too bad. Oh, that's wild. Interesting. I've learned your school systems are very different. And I and I thought going into this video, I was like, I mean, Germany just across the water. Like, there's no way our school systems are gonna be any different. Like, it's just school. But actually, your school system's very different. She didn't even mention the fact that you get free education. That's envious we're envious so it's not all bad even though you know the funding might not be great for your schools at least you get free schooling i'd take free schooling over like well-funded schools where it costs money oh no we get free schooling so ignore me i'm thinking about university <laughs> that's why she didn't speak about free schooling because all schools free our schools free university you get free university that's what I was talking about, ignore me. But um, yeah, that's a good thing about, yeah, I guess it's part of the school system because you get it for free to go to university after. But yeah, 
at least you're aware of the shortcomings of your schools and your and your government's taking the steps towards funding your schools and realizing actually we're ill prepared when it comes to technology and IT and utilizing that aspect of the school system. So I'm glad that's being done. And yeah, let me know if you have any experiences of school in Germany and let me know how you found that. Guys, until the next one, I will see you very soon.